Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom, and today I'm back at the Meriden Mall in Meriden, Connecticut. I was last here almost exactly a year ago in November 2022. The mall wasn't looking very good back then, but since then a few people have messaged me saying that the mall is looking even worse now. So of course I had to come back and take a look for myself and answer the question, is it a dead mall, a dying mall, or is it doing just fine? This mall opened in 1971 as the Meriden Square Mall. It was built and originally owned by the May Department Stores Company. Mays also owned the department store G Fox, which just happened to be one of the original two anchor stores. The other original anchor store, which opened a year later in 1972, was Penny's, later renamed as J.C. Penny. And when the mall first opened, it was much smaller than it is today. This map shows the original layout of the mall, and as you can see, it consisted of an anchor store at each end, and then a fairly small two-level center section. Here's what it looks like today. So they have a uh, Yale New Haven Health Services coming soon. All right, where are we now? Why does it not say? Oh, we're right here. So that was Sears. To the right, where this painting is today, used to be Sears. Sears opened in 1993, and then they closed in February of 2019. Now, before I got too far into the mall, I figured I should load up on some sugar, so I decided to take a look at the candy machines here. I was looking for Mike and Ike's, which is my favorite, but they didn't seem to have any here. So I did decide to go with something new this time, and uh, that was a mistake. I thought these Razzles looked good. I've never had them before, uh, but I missed the part that said they had gum in them, which is not what I was looking for. Oh, wow, these are stale. Wow, really stale. Yeah, so that was the first time I've had candy at a mall that was genuinely stale. And I actually had to throw out most of them later. They, do, they were just inedible. All right, so back to the mall. So since 1971, when the mall opened, it's had three major renovations done. The wing we're in now was added during the second major renovation in 1993. And in addition to this entire area of the mall, it also added the Sears that we passed there, and a parking garage was added on the outside of the Sears. Here's a map of the mall from 1994, shortly after the 93 renovation, and as you can see, it almost doubled the size of the mall. The first time I was ever at this mall was probably in 1994 or 1995, so that's what the mall would have looked like the first time I was here. For those of you keeping track, this was filmed on a Monday at about noontime, and it was the very end of November 2023, so pretty much during the height of the shopping season. And as you can see, it's really not that busy here. I've definitely seen deader malls than this, such as the Enfield Square Mall in Enfield, Connecticut, but I believe this still does qualify as a dead mall. But let me know what you think about that in the comments. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more mall videos coming up. Thanks.
So I always like to take a look in the arcades at these malls, and this one has one of those WoW arcades. And like most WoW arcades, it's completely empty and uh, almost silent. I think I played this one at Liberty Tree Mall. Meriden Mall Customer Lounge. That's, I, I don't remember that being here last year. So here we are at the center of the mall, which is the original mall. The original mall went from left to right. To the left was G. Fox, and to the right was J.C. Penney. Straight ahead, those escalators are not original to the mall. Originally, they had some weird, um, what they called people mover conveyor belt escalators. Here's a picture of them. And basically there were no stairs. It was just a belt you would walk up. And they were allegedly inspired by the people mover at Walt Disney World. Sadly, those escalators were removed during the first renovation of the mall between 1987 and 1988. Um, at that time they added in these current escalators and also that elevator was added to the mall. Straight ahead is where the original anchor store JCPenney used to be located. The JCPenney closed in 2014, and shortly after they remodeled it, and this Boscovs moved in in 2015. And also interestingly, this was the first Boscovs in all of New England. And I've actually never been inside a Boscovs. So if anybody wants me to do a walk around in there sometime, let me know. So now we're going to head on over to where the old G Fox used to be, and then we'll head up the elevator and take a look at the second floor. At the end of this hallway here is where G Fox used to be, one of the original anchor stores. G Fox became Filene's in 1993, and then Filene's became a Macy's in 2006. The Macy's then closed in 2020. And then in 2021, Yale New Haven Health bought the location, and they're apparently going to be tearing it down and rebuilding it as a health center. Here's what this used to look like when it was the Macy's. this was kind of interesting. You see those lamps there in the center on top of the fake grass? Well, here's a picture of the mall from 1971, just before it opened. And you can see they had lamps in this same area. The lamps do look slightly different, though. Um, and, of course, they are missing the planters and the trees, which I think were removed during the 87-88 uh, renovation of the mall.
All right, so now let's head on over to the elevator and take a look at the second floor. off so you can't actually see out the elevator. No. There's the guys. This hallway here and all the way down to the end was added during the third major renovation of the mall between 1997 and 1999. In addition to all these stores of course it added a fourth anchor store at the very end. It was a Lord and Taylor. And they also added uh, roof access parking as well, which we'll take a look at. And unlike the rest of the mall, this part is only one story. There's no lower level or upper level here. I really like this wing of the mall much more than the rest of the mall. And I think one of the major reasons is, well, you got a lot of natural light here, but you've also got actual trees. And these do appear to be real trees as far as I can tell. To the right here, when I was here last year, I believe this was a branch of the Meriden Public Library. Oh, roller coaster simulator. See, now this is gross. These are VR headsets. Would you wear a VR headset at the mall? I would bring uh, alcohol wipes with me wipe them down if if I have used it $15 per ride Wow okay that's the second plan yeah yeah now that's just ridiculous charging $15 for that VR headset arcade ride that's more than most movie tickets that's crazy and that's probably a very big reason why nobody's using it and also, like I said, it seems very unsanitary. I wouldn't want to put something on my face that had been on the face of somebody else here at the mall. Even if I had wiped it down, it still would have been gross. Straight ahead are the escalators that head up to the on-roof parking that was added during the 1997 to 1999 renovation of the mall. And there's the on-roof parking, which not many people seem to use, as far as I can tell. Because not surprisingly, there's plenty of parking here. I would say the parking lot was maybe, maybe 10% full, max, if even that.
straight ahead is where Best Buy used to be. Best Buy closed in 2021. And here's a photo of what this area of the mall used to look like sometime before Best Buy closed. At the end of the hallway here is where Lord & Taylor used to be. Lord & Taylor was here from 1999 to 2005, and then Dix moved in in 2005, not long after uh, Lord & Taylor closed. I thought it was kind of funny. To the right there, they have that ping pong table, and then they have a tiny little Christmas tree and a sign next to it saying Holiday Deal. It just seemed very underwhelming. Once again, here's the Best Buy on the right, and it looks almost identical to the way it did the last time I was here a year ago. So pretty much nothing has changed since then. Oh, cold air is coming out of here. It's a blast of cold air from out oh, yeah. there. Coming soon, the 78 Vance Company. According to my research, this center dome here before the 87-88 renovation was made up of 13 small geodesic domes and then there was a large 40-foot diameter lighting fixture in the center. This dome here though apparently was added during that 87-88 renovation. And it is pretty impressive, I think. And you can see down there they're putting up the um, 
Frosty the Snowman inflatable, I guess, for Christmas, which you can see in my uh, video from last year, they'd already inflated it at that point. And again, this is where G Fox was originally. Here's a photo of what it looked like back when it was G Fox sometime in the 1970s. It was taken right about here. And then here's another photo of it when it was Filene's. At the end of the hallway here is where J.C. Penney used to be. And here's a picture of what it used to look like when it was still J.C. Penney. And the thing that kind of confuses me about this photo is, based on the ceiling and everything else I know, this is where J.C. Penney was located. But there's no longer these uh, holes in the floor here that look down on the first floor. So I'm wondering why they covered those up. This looks like it used to be a pet store or something to do with animals because there were uh, those cages there to the left. But uh, that was a pretty big pet store.
looks like this used to be the Victoria's Secret and you can tell because you can still kind of read it there on the sign. So based on everything I've seen here, I would say this definitely qualifies as a dead mall. And I think most of you will probably agree. I could see some people saying, well, maybe it's only a dying mall, but I feel that it's a dead mall. Um, in addition to that, this mall was sold in 2020 from uh, Westfield Group to Namdar Realty Group. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because they also own the Enfield Square Mall in Enfield, Connecticut which, as most of you know, is probably the deadest mall in Connecticut. So hopefully Namdar will take better care of this mall than the Enfield Square Mall. But again, as you can probably see, it's not looking too good. Straight ahead at the end of the hall here is where Sears used to be. And then to the left at the end of the hall there was a software, etc. And here's a picture of what this area used to look like, I think, back in the early, very early 2000s. And here we have the food court. Again, this was filmed around noontime on a Monday, so it looks fairly busy. I mean, there's there are some people here, it's not empty, but I've definitely seen much busier food courts than this. Interesting that everybody would group in that one section. Yeah, don't you think it'd spread out more? Yeah. Think, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of seats. Alright, so now it's time to head back down to the first floor and head on out, and then I'll do a drive around to the mall. And it was at this point that I'm fairly certain security was about to kick me out. If you look down ahead there in front of the Sears, there's those two security guards near the candy machines. The one on the right made eye contact with me, and I'm pretty sure he saw my camera. And you'll see he starts to come in my direction. So he's starting to walk in my direction there. After I went out, after I left the building, right after I turned off the camera, it turned out he followed me out, and he was standing right behind me. I just kept walking, though, and went straight to the car. And as I was walking to the car, he just kept staring at me. So I'm pretty sure if I had either turned around and continued to go through the mall, or if I'd come back in, he would have asked me to leave because I was filming. I'm 95% sure of that. All right, so now let's do a drive around of the mall. Here's the old G Fox, Filene's, and then Macy's. Here's a picture of what it used to look like when it was G Fox. And here's a picture of what it used to look like when it was Filene's.
This is the old Sears. And this is what it used to look like. And I'm surprised they still have the old Sears signs still up on the outside here. To the right of the Sears is the new parking garage that they added in 1993. Which at this point was 30 years ago, so it's not really new anymore, but for some reason I still think of that as new. the Boscovs, which is the former J.C. Penney, and this is what the J.C. Penney used to look like. There's where Dix is today, and originally that was the Lord and Taylor. And then to the right of that, very clearly, is where uh, Best Buy used to be.
once again we're back to the old G Fox Filene's Macy's building. And there you have it. That's my 2023 update to the Meriden Mall in Meriden, Connecticut. Again, let me know what you think. Is this a dead mall, a dying mall, or is it doing just fine? And if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. We've got a lot more mall videos coming up, store walkthroughs, and of course, flea markets. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.